So for today's video, I wanted to do a prom makeup tutorial for all my ladies out there that are going to prom and want to slay all day. So I just did this simple brown smoky eye and then a nude lip and some balm highlight. So if you want to learn how to achieve this simple but yet cute prom look, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my favorite primer at the moment, which is the Too Faced Hangover. And I do like the Makeup Forever one, the one that I was using, but I did notice that it would like start sliding off my foundation from like the areas that I would get oily, so like my nose and my forehead and stuff. But with this one, my foundation stays on all night long. For foundation, of course, my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I honestly have to go get a new one because this one I'm already running out of. You have to make sure that the foundation you are using for prom night does not have SPF 15 because that will cause flashback when you take pictures with flash and we do not want that. So make sure that whatever foundation you're using does not have that. This one does not. So if you're trying to buy a new foundation for prom, then I do recommend that one or the Makeup Forever HD stick. If you're more on the oily side, I recommend this one. And if you're more on the dry side, then I recommend the stick because that one does work best with um, dry skin. For concealer, I'm just using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer. And this one is super lightweight. Another reason why I like this one because on prom night, you do not want your face to get cakey because you are gonna be dancing on the dance floor all night. So trust me, you are gonna sweat. Not to mention girls, we are gonna be in like, I'm over here saying we are like if I'm going to prom this year. Anyways, so since you are gonna be with those long dresses and stuff, you are gonna be struggling to like carry them and all that and it is gonna make you break a sweat. So try to use products that are super lightweight on the skin. That way you do not cake up throughout the night. I'm gonna be applying the Benefit High Beam before I set my face because we all get those times where like, let's say you apply your highlight and it's like super, super popping and bright, but then as you go throughout your day, you notice that it starts to like fade away or it's not as bright as it is. I recommend using a base, that way it has something to stick to. For translucent powder, this is the only one I recommend, which is the Laura Mercier one. You do not want to use the Airspun one. I get that it's great and all that, but you will get flashback. Trust me, especially if it's like in a dark room, you will get flashback, so do not use that one. I highly recommend you get this one. And even if you just buy it for prom night, it's still a really good translucent powder. If you want your makeup to last all night, I recommend you set your entire face with translucent powder. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it. This will literally make all the difference in your makeup lasting all night long. Today I'm using my Jouer bronzer in the shade Suntan. You guys, I have not used this in forever. You guys knew that I was like obsessed with this for like a really long time. I don't know why I've stopped using it, but I'm back on it. I forgot how much I loved it. I'm quickly gonna snatch my nose using that same bronzer. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to contour your nose, then definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Meanwhile, my nose bakes, I'm gonna use this blush by Tarte. Honestly, this is one of my favorite blushes at the moment. This one is Natural Beauty. The only reason why I like it is because the last 12 hours, all the blushes that I usually use do tend to come off. I know the Milani one came off on me pretty often and I didn't mind because I don't really like blush, but this one stays on. So if you're a really big fan of blush and you want your blush to stay on all night for prom, 
then I definitely recommend this one because like I said, it lasts 12 hours. Now that my face is done, let's go ahead and move on to the eyes. So I went ahead and did one eye off camera, so this is what we're gonna learn to achieve today. So the palette we're gonna be using for this smoky brown eye is this one right here, which is from Dose of Colors, and it is the Baked Brows. Brows, browns, should I say. This is what it looks like. Besides the Dose of Colors palette, I'm also gonna be using some Makeup Geek shadows. And you guys know I don't use any other transition shade besides Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, which is what I am applying on my lid right now. Next, I'm going in with this light brown shade with my Morphe M441. And I'm gonna to begin to buff that into the crease with windshield wiper motions. You're gonna to wanna to keep going back and forth, picking up more color each time. That way we can intensify it. You don't want to pick up too much product because then you won't be able to take it off. So that's why little by little is the best way to go. Next, I am going in with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek, my Morphe M443. And I'm just gonna be doing the exact same steps as I did before. With the same brush, you're gonna wanna distribute that color on the lower lash line. Once you get to the outer corner, you're gonna wanna flick it because we are kinda doing that winged effect, as you guys can tell from this eye. It's not straight up like a smoky eye, it kinda goes outward. So we want that same effect, so just do little flick motions. That way the shadow can distribute outwards. Next shade I'm picking up is this shade right here. It's just like a burgundy color. It's called Cherry Wood. And I'm gonna be using the same brush. The last color is this dark brown over here, which is called Rock Bottom. And I'm just using a flat shader brush to apply that all over the lid. And now I'm just going in with this blending brush just to make sure everything is seamless. And we want to blend both the brown and that burgundy shade that we added earlier. That way you can see the brown a bit more. Now with a super teeny tiny brush, I'm gonna be applying that brown at the very edge of the waterline. The lashes I'm using today are Queen Bees. I have not used these in forever, but I wore these to prom last year and I remember I fell in love with the way my eyes looked in pictures. They're not too big and dramatic to the point where it hides the shadow, but they're still super fluffy and wispy. To make the eye look a bit more dramatic, I am going to be adding black eyeshadow on my waterline. I already went ahead and put on eyeliner, but just to set it and intensify the eye, we're going to go ahead and add some black eyeshadow. For the inner corner, I'm using my Sleek palette. This is honestly what completes the look. Just because it brightens up the eye and it adds a pop of color. I'm quickly gonna put on some mascara on my bottom lashes and then we're gonna go right into the highlight. So for highlighter today, I'm using So Hollywood by Anastasia and mine is still broken, you guys, from like the fifth video I ever uploaded. This was one of my favorite highlighters ever. This is still up to this day one of my favorite highlights. Oh, it's so freaking nice. See, the fact that we added the high beam under, it already makes my highlight stand out a lot. Remember to always smile and apply highlight to the apples of your cheek. That way, whenever you smile for pictures, so you can still see your highlight even if you're not turning sideways. For lips, I'm using this liquid velvet in the shade Oh Honey. It's my favorite lipstick at the moment. It's just like the perfect nude. Now 
So now that that is done, I'm just gonna set my face with my Slay All Day Setting Spray in the scent Peach. Ooh, wow, it's so fresh. All right guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the smoky brown eye. And as always, I'm gonna be giving away an item that I used in this video. Can you guys guess what it is? I'm gonna give you all a second to guess. I'm giving away a Soul Hollywood Highlighter by ABH. They came out with these for like, I think like two days or something like that. I think it was like for Black Friday and I bought one for myself, but I still use this one because it still has a lot of product. So I just had this one laying around. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it to one of my little flowers. So the question of the day is, what is your favorite Netflix show at the moment? So let me know in the comments down below to enter. And as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.